Hey everyone, Destin Legary here with some tips to help you dominate the Rainbow Six Siege Alpha. Before we get to the location, let's talk about the new feature, Operators. There's 10 in the Alpha and each has a unique ability. Learn each so you know how to help your team and if possible, pick the one that will benefit your playstyle the most every chance you can get. The Operators we'll be looking at first are on the attacking side. This guy's Sledge. This guy's special ability, a gigantic hammer that will break down any barrier or wall that's destructible. Use him to create an entry point that'll allow your team to go to work. Next, the Thatcher. He can throw grenades that disable all electronics in range, meaning no more gadgets for the team inside. Then there's Ash. Ash comes in handy, especially when you need to breach a wall from a distance. He can fire a payload that will detonate a wall from the other side of a room or hallway and open up new entries while putting the hurt on anyone near the blast. Twitch Operator can pilot a special drone that can shock your opponents or disable traps. Make sure to send in one of his drones if you're not sure what's on the other side of a wall. Finally, you know those pesky reinforced walls that are usually seen on a wall you want to shoot through? Well, Thermite is the only class that can take them down, opening up routes that your enemy probably doesn't want you having access to. Now, on the defender side, we'll talk about Pulse first. This operator is going to have the best chance of finding enemies that are heading your way using his heartbeat sensor. He'll have a chance to give you an advanced warning if enemies are in the next room, giving you time to prepare or a chance to catch them by surprise. Mute is going to prevent all detonations and drone usage in an area by setting up jamming devices. If there's no way to detonate, that means there won't be any walls or bombs going boom in that area. Smoke works with poisonous gas. If there's a room you need to clear, popping one of his smoke grenades inside is either going to slowly kill anyone that stays there, or at the very least force them to move. Rook's special ability is to support his teammates. At the beginning of each match, make sure your Rook is dropping armor for all of his friends. Being able to take more bullets means surviving for a second or two longer and taking the win. Finally, Castle is going to have the ability to place extra strong reinforcements on windows and doors that can sustain higher damage. Need to make a room extra secure from gunfire? Make sure the Castle Operator is doing his job and sealing this place up tight. Now that you've got your team, you need to learn how to play as each class effectively. Be sure to check out the options on each character as subtle changes can be made that will help you change them to better fit how you play the game. Most importantly, make sure that you communicate with your teammates. It is highly recommended that you bring a mic because working solo will usually guarantee that you end up one place, dead. Now, let's talk about locations for a second. Attackers, know your roles and pay attention as we go over these defensible locations. You're going to need to check these spots for the hostage and attack using the tools you've been given. Defenders, here's some tips to stop their attack. Airplane has four places defenders can hide, including the president's office, the president's bedroom, journalist's seating, and cargo. Zone A, president's office, has a lot of cover and two hallways that you'll need to defend. The halls are the choke point here, and you're going to see a lot of fire from both sides being exchanged. Reinforce and then cover the hostage. Zone B, President's Bedroom, has one advantage. It's a small area. Its disadvantage is that there's a large opening that'll leave you a bit more open than usual. Try staying a bit away from the hostage, making it harder to get to their location. Zone C, Journalist Seating, seems extremely vulnerable. There's a stairwell in the back that allows the enemy to flank you from behind, they can do a full frontal assault, or they could come in from above. It's difficult to defend, but if you spread out, you should have a chance here. Zone D Cargo has a front and rear entrance, and while the roof is an entry point, it's fairly safe here. There's lots of cover, and when reinforced, this can be a great spot to force a confrontation in an area you've heavily protected. Now let's look at the house and its fortifiable location. Zone A, the bedroom, has a bed that you can take cover behind, but there are a lot of walls that can be blown up to gain access to the area. The hallway is also vulnerable, but you should be able to cover it from the bedroom or one of the side rooms. There's also no way for the other team to come through the ceiling here as you're on the top floor. Zone B, the workshop, is also on the top floor. It has a back window and a few walls that can be entered, but for the most part, it's also pretty safe. 
your opponent will have a lot to go through if they're going to get to the hostage. Zone C, the dining room, is another fairly open area with a large doorway, but there's a table for cover in the back. That said, behind said table is a large window. Most encounters ended up being from the front or side in this room, so reinforce heavily. And make sure to cover the room on the right also, as it could easily become an entry point. Zone D, the laundry room, is by far my favorite location to set up. There's a corner that's fairly safe from attackers, all the walls can be fortified, and your enemies will have to come through locations that give you a distinct tactical advantage. For the most part, they're going to have a hard time getting in and out of this room in time. Anyway, those are my tips for the Rainbow Six Siege Alpha, but do you have any? Make sure you share it with the players in the comments below, and for more on Rainbow Six Siege, be sure to check out our wiki. Anyway, until next time, I'm Destin, and I'll see you guys online.